Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Since we had such an outstanding beer from uh, Treehouse yesterday that Anthony sent down, uh, he also sent me this one from up there. Uh, this is the uh, Foundation Brewing Company's Imperial IPA. And they're out of Portland, Maine, another New England brewery. Uh, not had anything from these guys before so this will be the first one that I've had from these guys in Portland Maine they're way up there it's pretty chilly up there this time of the year I would think and uh, we're getting a little bit of snow here tonight so uh, they probably are too or got some on the ground or had some on the ground for a couple of months so for a while I would think up there I've been to Maine once in my lifetime and it was in about this time of the year in March and it was blue freaking cold when we were up there. Seen the ocean frozen. I didn't know what the hell it was as we was driving up there. It was about 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. We drove uh, from Virginia up there and uh, did an all-nighter uh, and got up there uh, as the sun was coming up. And I kept looking over to the right and I'm going, what is that? And it couldn't figure out what it was and got just enough of light to figure out it was the damn ocean frozen and I had never witnessed that before so uh, it was an amazing sight uh, we were uh, that was a long time ago that was back in the 70s so uh, long long time ago in my in my younger days uh, I don't I can't pull them all nighters anymore so uh, but let's see what this beer brings to the table. This is, like I said, their Imperial IPA. This beer has some information on the can here. It says Maine IPA. They're very proud of that and don't blame them. Uh, Pills their pale. Oats is the malt. The hops are Cascade, Citra, Columbus, Ella, and Mosaic. I've heard of all of them except for the Ella. I'm not aware of, I've never had, I don't think I've had a beer with Ella hops in it before. 8.0% alcohol, IBUs are 85. So it's got all the information right here on the can that we need as far as the ingredients, but let's go to the bottom. It says 11.24.15 right on the bottom of the can here. And uh, I know he got the precious one, Anthony got the precious one he can get his hands on, but we're getting to the end of the shelf life on this beer, guys. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it too and get it out of the fridge. 11 24 15. 12 24, 1 24, 2 24 is our three months, and we're into March. So we're at the very end of the shelf life on, on this beer, as far as I'm concerned. So I wanted to get it out of the fridge and get it reviewed as quick as possible. So uh, let's see what it brings. Big can, 16 ounce, so we've got all the information. We've got the malt bill, we've got the hop bill, we got the ABV, we got the IBUs, we got the date, it was canned on. All the information we need. Thumbs up to those guys up there at uh, Foundation Brewing for that. So let's see what this one brings to the table. Uh, Commercial description says, we indulge our desire to create an IPA that per personifies the vivid flavors that can be coaxed from the hop cone. Painted on a canvas of soft malt that allows the flavors to shine through, extensively hopped in the kettle and the fermenter, we spared nothing in making this beer. Uh, Epony is designed to showcase the glorious flavor and aromatics of hops without any astringent bitterness. Citrus, tropical fruit, pine blend to provide you with a sublimely juicy hop experience. East or West Coast? Question mark. This is a Maine IPA, and they say that right on now. They're very proud of that. So maybe they don't want to be classified or categorized in uh, 
either a West Coast or an East Coast style. It's a main beer. So, let's see what it brings to the table. Uh, food pairings is going to be your typical double IPA food pairing. The cuisine, barbecue, cheeses, pepper, Monterey, pepper, jack, sharp, blue cheddar. And the... Uh, and your stronger cheeses, of course, so with a big beer. And the meat is game, grilled meat and salmon, glass for a center tulip over size wine glass. Got my favorite glass today. And it says candy cellar because of the ABV, but don't do it. Drink it as fresh as you can get your hands on it, guys. So let's get this 16 ounce can opened up and get it into the glass. And see what this brings. Oh, I'm getting some citrusy notes already. These guys in New England have really awakened. It's like a sleeping giant, and they are bringing some tasty beers to the table, guys. They really, really are. Very proud of those guys up there. Uh, about a finger of head on that pour, and it is kind of uh, uh, cloudy, a little bit of a chill haze. Not quite as cloudy as the, the treehouse beers are. I can see some light coming through there, but it's not perfectly clear. So I do think it's a filtered beer. Nice orange tangerine color, as most of them have. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, yes. Very nice hop aroma. Very citrusy. Tangerine oranges. Hints of pine and, and uh, tropical fruits. Uh, very similar. Not quite as pungent as the treehouse was yesterday. But very, very pleasant. Very, very nice smelling beer. Wow. Very nice. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Anthony. Thank you, my brother. You got some great beers going on up there, and you sent me several very tasty ones, and I do appreciate it, sir. That's very nice. Not quite as sweet, not quite as pungent as the treehouse, but very, very nice. Very tasty double IPA. Alcohol very well hidden for an 8 percenter. Considerably bigger than yesterday's beer at 6.8. Into the double IPA category. Very well done. Very nice. Very tasty. And all the information is on the can. I've used ABV, malt bill, hop bill, date on the bottom of it when it was put in the can. And this is, like I said, at the end of its shelf life as far as I'm concerned. Uh, just a tad over three months old. Just imagine how tasty this was the first month it was in the can. Uh, it would probably would probably be a tin beer at that stage. But and like I tell you guys, and y'all know this, that are experienced uh, craft beer drinkers, especially your hop heads. Uh, once you start getting into your three to four month shop life, the hop freshness and the aromas and, and taste is starting to dwindle off a little bit and starting to get more of the maltiness. But this one has has survived very well. It's selling very well in the can. So uh, I'm sure it was the precious one that Anthony could get his hands on. Precious one I can get my hands on. So thank you, Anthony. I do appreciate it. Well, wonderful beer. I was expecting it to be a little more malty than it is with the ages that it is, uh, the length it's been in the can. So pleasantly surprised that it is not. So it has uh, it has done very well. Well, let me take it back and uh, let her have a sip two or three and uh, sip on it for a little bit and see where we end up on this one. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it about 45 minutes. Very, very tasty beer. The New England guys really stepping up to the plate. They are giving the West Coast style beers a run for their money. No freaking doubt. Uh, this is not considered an East Coast style. Uh, to me, it's more of a West Coast style with all the piney, grapefruit, juicy, hopness, tropical fruit notes, citrusiness. It's awesome. It is freaking awesome. Uh, I'm on the fence between a 9 and a 10, but with all the information they're putting in on the can, the, the malt bill, the hop bill, the alcohol content, the IBUs, the date on the bottom. I mean, they're giving us all the information we need as craft beer drinkers, reviewers, connoisseurs, amateurs, whatever you want to call yourself as a craft beer drinker. 
thumbs up to those guys for all the information that's on the can. Awesome. Awesome. To me, it's not quite as good as the Treehouse beer, but it is damn freaking close. Uh, I think this is a filtered beer, where the Treehouse beers are unfiltered beers, which gives you a little bit more of the pulpness and uh, a little more flavor when they don't filter all that stuff out. But for a filtered beer, and, and, and I say filtered, but now that I poured the rest of the can into the glass, there are a lot of chunkiness floating around in it. It is a lot of junk in the trunk, but that's not going to hurt you. So, uh, very nice. Very, very nice beer. Man, the aroma is just awesome. Final chug. And look, there is a lot of stuff in the bottom of this glass. But I'm going to drink it. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I, I do think this is a tin beer. Uh, being in, I, I'm not really sure whether it's a filtered beer or not a filter. It's only a little bit over three months old. So I don't think the hops have coagulated in the bottom of the can. There are some stuff in there. So it may not be a filtered beer. Uh, when I do my beers, when I recommend to the secondary, uh, I leave a lot of that uh, stuff in the bottom of the uh, carboy, and the beers actually come out pretty clear. Uh, they're not filtered, but in the brewing process, depending on how you do it, and where this can was filled out of the bright tank, uh, and whether it was the top of the tank or the middle of the tank or the bottom of the tank, you might get some of that stuff in there. It is definitely not an old beer. It's getting to the end of its shelf life, in my opinion, because it's at three months, a little over three months. But uh, it still has all the taste. It is definitely not a hot bomb. I mean, a, a malt bomb uh, on this beer. Very tasty beer. So, uh, with all the information they're giving me on the can, there's no doubt on anything about the malt they use, the hops they use, the ABV, the IBUs, or when it was put in the can. I am going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give it a 10, guys. Uh, there is a slight difference between what I had yesterday from Treehouse and this one. Uh, I think the Treehouse is a tad better than this. So, uh, if, if I could give a beer at an 11, I would probably give the Treehouse the slight advantage over this. But this is a great beer. It is. If you can't get the Treehouse, this would be a runner-up, no doubt. It is just as tasty. Plus, this is an Imperial. Yesterday's was 6.8. This is 8.0. So, they just kicked it up just a little bit, uh, a little bit more potent, a little more ADD, a little more alcohol. But it's so hidden, you don't know the difference. I... If I was blindfolded, I could not tell the difference in the ABV between the both of those beers. It's, it's that well made. So, yes, 10 for me, guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 98, world class. Great numbers from those guys over there. They're very conservative. And when you start seeing anything above 95, that really means it's a tasty beer. And over to uh, Rake Beer. Rake Beer is pretty liberal. Uh, they've got overall 199 in the style. So... Not quite as good a numbers from the uh, from uh, Beer Advocate as we had yesterday. There was one hundred all around, ninety eight from them and one hundred from these guys and ninety nine in the style and and a hundred from me. Uh, not quite as juicy and tasty, but it is kicking the door in on that. Plus, it's a bigger beer, so yeah, ten for me. Awesome beer. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. No doubt about it. I would buy this beer. And buy it quite a bit. So I don't know how limited the beer is as far as distribution or the availability of this beer or how big the brewery is, but it is a tasty beer. Anybody in Maine, especially around the Portland area, that can get this beer, they know that already more than likely. Uh, so if you in that area and you're a hophead and you have not had this beer, what the hell's wrong with you? Pick it up. No doubt. This is the only one I've had from these guys. I don't know how many different styles they do or what else they do. 
or what's available. I would love to try something else from these guys. So, But anyway, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, Anthony, I do appreciate you picking this up and sending it to me. Awesome beers from those guys up there. New England's got it going on. They are up and coming, no doubt. They're giving the West Coast beers a run for their money. Uh, over the last uh, 6, 8, 12 months, I've had quite a few beers sent to me from uh, the New England uh, or from Virginia up, Maryland, Delaware, Massachusetts, Vermont, Maine. All those beers are doing exceptional things, guys. Very, very nice. So, well, if you had this one from Foundation Brewing, this is their Epony IPA. I think I'm pronouncing that right. E P I P H A N Y. Epony. Epony. IPA. Double IPA. Let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see if we can do something tasty out of the fridge. Yeah. See you then.